So I just finished up the little opening pairing of after my warm up I did, uh, which was a lot of crawling, a lot of balloon stuff. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of that in the videos. You saw that. Um, but that opening pairing, I uh, was just getting the, the spine loose with the rapid PVC swings. A lot of times I'll do it outside uh, with a longer PVC. I just decided to do it in here today. A little wet still the grounds wet and stuff outside but i'll be out in the garage here shortly uh for it's still not warm it's uh, it's still not super warm isn't it i think it's probably in the 30s still when i went for my walk earlier but i mean we had that's wisconsin for you we had 60s 70s last weekend now it's back in the 30s i think it's supposed to warm up here again soon but um the rapid pvc swings or i just use this little pipe that i got from uh a batting uh, net uh, so just use that swing rapidly trying to work on that just a spinal rotation hip movement and just kind of get fast with it light fast uh, that's what today's power session is based on power more speed and power for the upper body uh, a little bit of obviously there's strength and everything but a little bit more based on speed and power today so that paired with the the rolling overhead uh, med ball throws, uh, which is just a fun variation I enjoy because too many people were too rigid or too based on what the textbook says, what, oh, three sets of five or whatever it is and doing, oh, our med ball throws have to just be boring, basic med ball throws. No, you can have fun with it. Uh, I'm not training for any, this is not specific training. This is general training to get my body ready and prepare it for different movements, different things that will come at me, whether it's in our amateur baseball season or just in life in general. And because I want to do it, because I want to have fun. I want to make my training a little bit more fun and more competitive, do different things and expose my body, like I said, to different movements. Whereas you're combining a somersault into a throw, or it could be a cartwheel into a throw or whatever it is. Training doesn't need to be that rigid, strict, boring ass oh you got a bench you got a squat you got a deadlift those are all you need to do or it's based off just these strict boring movement patterns where you're just going up and down or front and back there's a lot more to it than that there's rolling tumbling crawling all these different things that you can combine to actually make your body move like a human is supposed to move you're not stuck in such rigid patterns your training is only limited by your creativity, your mind, what you have in there and what you can think of that is, is fun and also moves things forward. Because it's not just doing it for, for show or whatever. Yes, it's, it looks cool. It looks kind of, it probably looks dumb for a lot of people, but I don't care. I don't care about pleasing those people. It's getting us what I want accomplished today and that's getting some spinal movement with a roll also combining it with a overhead throw getting some more power in that throwing position but not just doing it from a standing like a standing overhead soccer throw where yeah that can be fine but i can get boring too so making it fun doing what i want to do and not because not because of some made up rules of you have to do it because this training textbook says it or this instagram influencer says you have to do three sets of five, three sets of 10. You have to bench, squat, and deadlift. Those are the only ways to see gains, see whatever. It's not. If you're trying to be more athletic and move like a human being, you gotta do movements. You gotta move. You gotta train the body in different ways. And somersaults into overhead throws are just one of my fun variations that I like to do with my, my throws. It could be, I mean, you need to do all this different stuff, whether it's upper body, lower body, uh, hit different areas Ex again expose your body to different movements different situations different things that heck you don't know you might see in life when you're you trip and fall or in a sport when you're getting rolled up on or something you gotta you get tackled or whatever you got drop and roll whatever it is Th these things can expose your bodies to different movements yes they're not specific exactly specific to those situations but it's training your body it's preparing your body to be ready when all these weird, unique uh, movements or situations you might come upon. And too many people are just too rigid and then they fall off their training because they're so bored of 
oh, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. I'm not changing things up. I'm not getting a little bit different variations. I'm not doing anything besides the big three. So that's why I like to do it. That's why I did this. But let's get on to our next thing. We got uh, some plyo push-ups against bands. So working on, again, speed, uh, speed power pushing. And we're going to do, what are we doing for rows? Doing a speed row. I just forgot what we're doing off the top of my head. But you'll see it. And we'll get going with it. And we'll kind of... We got a little bit more time today, so I'll probably do some of these a uh, little in-depth talking after each set or in between each set or on rest. So let's go. Against the band, so the band's gonna be forcing me into the ground. So again, think quick contacts off the ground. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I might have to adjust the band height. I'm not sure. That oh, should be good. Pair those with the speed, rapid, drop catch, PVC, bent over row. So think, boom, pull it, dropping it, pull the hands back fast, catch it, bring it back to the starting foot spot. So that was our little horizontal power focus on push up explosive on the floor the band pushing me back into the floor so rapid have to be quick off the ground again I'm not the greatest at this that's why i do things i'm not good at so being explosive with the power with the upper body with the push that horizontal pushing variation where more of a dynamic i guess you could call it dynamic effort but again you don't always have to use a barbell bench press to speed bench or whatever the typical west side uh, dynamic effort. Uh, there's more to it. That's, again, all these things are just written in a book. Everything's made up. Do what you want. Do what works for you. There's so many different ways to train. Uh, this is the style I like to use. A lot of different. I'll do speed bench. That's fine. Um, but just I used to do it all the time, and I just got got bored. So uh, the push-ups, and then with the the row, the drop catch. Speed rows, again, it's not about as many reps as you can get as fast as possible. It's about each rep being fast. So boom, drop, and quickly catch it and bring it right back to that position. So that's what I'm working on there. Now we're going to head out to the garage. I'm going to get uh, a little bit chilly out there, but we'll do it. So we're going to do a push press. I don't have, again, I can't do a barbell push press in here because no room on the ceilings. Uh, and then we're going to do some uh, pull-up shimmy. So we're going to pull up above go across for a certain amount of time and uh, 15 seconds I believe is what I have so we'll go up go back and forth across the bar uh, for 15 seconds and that will be our rep uh, so we'll head out there and we'll take care of business
finished up out in the garage with the uh, push press. I'll work on more explosive, a little bit heavier, not super heavy. I'm not strong in the push press, so I never have been. I haven't done it a lot, but I've been incorporating more. So again, focusing on those things you're not good at, working on them, getting better at them, not just doing things, your strengths all the time. So uh, that explosive vertical power and strength, and then the uh, pull-up shimmies, just another variation because, yeah, once you get good at pull-ups, again, it's tough to get good at pull-ups. Take a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to get your first pull. -up. Then you start adding more and more and more. And over the years, yeah, pull-ups become simpler and easier. Uh, it just takes time. But then you start incorporating different variations. So that's just one. Uh, I haven't done those in a long time. So uh, that was a good, fun variation uh, just to kind of get up there, stay up there, and kind of shift back and forth. So next we're going to get into some arms. So we're going to hit some drop catch bicep curls, some drop catch skull crushers, and some prone uh, drop catch wise. Just the drop catch, working on that, that impact, that bringing it back, being quick that way. Uh, not super heavy weight, more reps and just work on the impact there, especially with the hitting the joints, hitting the tendons, hitting the muscles with those drop catch uh, movements. After that, we are going to do five minutes of ring exploration. So just get on the rings for five minutes, play around, do a bunch of different stuff. Uh, kind of, again, that freedom to explore. Your training doesn't have to be that rigid, this amount of sets. You can put some time on the clock, play around. That's the best part. Play, 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 which your training probably doesn't have enough of right now. And then we'll end with uh, some single arm hangs. And we're gonna throw in a, uh, we'll see how it goes, but we'll try um, some, we're gonna have a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, toss it up with the other hand while I'm hanging. So uh, we'll finish out with this and we'll be done for the day.